So what we're gonna do is just go through the different uh, varnish options. There's two essentially that I use. One has sort of high fumes, but it's, it's quite efficient and I recommend that you do it outside so you can spray. And you just do an even distribution of spraying, one coat, but just keep it flowing. Don't stop, just make sure that you get one even flow right across the canvas. And I generally do about two, sometimes three coats, but you, gen you wanna leave probably an hour in between that you do coats. One of the most efficient ways is, is no fumes, is with this one, the gloss varnish. And I'll show you how I'm gonna apply it onto this canvas today. So I'm not gonna use the spray. We're gonna use this one we actually literally just paint it on. So for this varnishing exercise, I'm gonna be using the gloss varnish. It's the final varnish um, for, for, for acrylic paint. So what it does is it protects the artwork and, and it also gives it a gloss le level as well. So it gives it a bit of that shine look, a really nice sort of appealing brightness to it. So all you need is just the varnish. You just need a jar to put the varnish in, of course, and you just need a standard paintbrush and that's pretty much it. And it's just a matter of evenly applying the varnish across the canvas and not sort of creating too many heavy areas where you put too much liquid. You wanna have an even distribution of varnish across the canvas. So it's a matter of just keeping the brush moving and get one coat done and then get your second coat done a couple of hours later. That's pretty much it. And it's just a matter of getting enough on the brush to start distributing it over the canvas. It will give it a bit of a milky paste across it, but it will start to blend in and the milky look will start to drop out. And you just wanna make sure that you've got even distribution of the varnish through. I generally let my paint dry for a few days, even if it is acrylic. Uh, I just like to make sure that it is hard and it is set properly before I put any gloss on it. Uh, however, sometimes if you've sold a painting quickly, uh, you, you do need to quite often get the gloss on reasonably quick, but at least allow 24 hours before you apply it. And then before you actually ship the painting, try it if you can, wait another 24 hours just for that gloss just to seal into the, into the painting. Okay, so that's my first coat down. I'll come back a little bit later and I'll put on a second coat. I'll probably give it a, uh, at least a couple of hours just to make sure that that's set and then come back in and put another coat. And I think the second coat should do it. Uh, we'll just touch up any areas that I might have missed. Sometimes there's sort of little small gaps that you can't quite see through the light and the second coat will give it a full comprehensive cover. All right, that's it for now.